Hey guys, it's me, Rocket Off 3000 Error, back again. It's time to do another review. So today, I'm going to do a review on a Charlie Brown Christmas. Came in the year of 1965. The same year that my dad was born and one year before my mom was born because my mom was born in, in 1966. The same year as the 1966 classic Adam West Batman came out and, and the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Enough of that, let's get to the plot. So basically what the plot is. Part is everyone was excited that it that it, that um their Christmas break started from that they're off school for Christmas break and they went ice skating and then basically um and then basically Char Brown um Char Brown was worried what he's going to do for Christmas with um Linus and then um basically um and then basically Char Brown doesn't. Um, don't know what he wanted to do for Christmas, so he got help for Lucy, and he told Char Brown that he wants to be, that he, um, had a surprise, that he want him to be the director of a school Christmas play, and then, um, basically, and then basically, um, all the, um, Char Brown's friends asked, asked him to get a good Christmas tree, and for some reason, it turned out to be a bad Christmas tree, which is the one in the background right there. And basically, Aaron laughed at him, and then basically, Charbon doesn't know what Christmas is all about. And, to and then Linus told the story about the true meaning of Christmas. And then basically, um, and then basically, um, it and then basically, um, Char um, Charbon put put a red bulb ornament on the Christmas tree and but for for some reason it bent it bent and basically Charbon War thought that he killed it. So it's up to um to um Charbon's friends to make that little Christmas tree into an awesome tree and surprise Charbon to have a great Christmas. And that's what basically what the plot is. What I gotta know about the special? It's a classic. I got so I love Char Brown and holy crap, I can't believe that this was actually my third Char Brown review so far on my channel. First I reviewed um is the great pumpkin Char Brown. During my Thanksgiving break, I reviewed a Char Brown Thanksgiving and now I review Char Brown Christmas. So yeah, I was supposed to do a review on Polar Express. Back on my last vlog that I showed you guys my Christmas tree, but apparently I decided to watch a Charm on Christmas, Christmas to get this review over with. And yes, there's actually a short, there's actually a uh, another Christmas special that came with my Charm on Christmas DVD, and that was called and the, and the short is called It's Christmas Again, Charm Brown, which I will do a review on that pretty soon. On my review it on during my Christmas. Break or maybe I'll review it on um, next week. Who knows? Okay, back on saying it was a great special, and on top of that, to be honest with you, you know that tree that's right there. Oh shoot, I trip on a on a lamp wire. Sorry guys, you remember that Christmas tree right there? Well, to be honest with you guys, I have this Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That's right, I have this Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but without the blanket. But Apparently, when we were trying to find um the Christmas ornaments the other day, I couldn't even find this Chris this Christmas tree ornament. I don't know that my that uh my stepdad took it before he before he moved out to Oregon. I mean, I apparently do not know, but I'm not, but I'm not sure. But still, I got so many Christmas ornaments on my Christmas tree. Back when I was saying, it's such a great spec. It's such a great special, you guys. I really love this special, and I know, and I know, I watch all the Char Brown holiday specials like every year. But apparently, I didn't get a chance to watch um the Easter Beagle Char Brown because for some reason, um, the reason why I didn't get a chance to watch, sorry guys, um, the reason why I didn't get a chance to watch um is the great um is the Easter Beagle Char Brown because because um. Because that was at the time that we moved to our apartment, and we were so busy on packing a lot of stuff and getting and looking our and make sure our apartment looks looks really cool. 
were really nice. But apparently, right after we got, right after we unpacked all of our stuff, I I didn't even got a chance to watch the great the Easter Beagle tour around because I was way too busy in step, and I was way way too busy with um with um saying um unboxing the stuff in the apartment because I remember when we were, like on the first day that we moved here um um ha um we decided to, to um unpack half of our stuff and pack the other half a few times later on but apparently when we moved here we didn't want to bed until almost around like two in the morning on the first day that we lived here. That's right. It was around like two AM in the morning that that we that we that we moved here and we were so tired that um since my um since that my um teacher my um school my when I was still at um school at the time when I was in the step program at, at my school at my high school um my my teacher in my a in my um 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 classroom classroom substitute aide um she, um she knows that I was moving. So apparently, uh, my mom, my mom contacted the school and tell her that I was not going to be at the school the next day due for me moving to my apartment, and I was really tired. So, yeah, that was well. Anyways, that was a long time ago. That was back. That was back in March. Anyways, you guys, I have nothing to say about this special. You guys, it's a great, it's a great Christmas special. Charlie Brown, a Charlie Brown Christmas is a classic. And surprisingly, I remember back in 2006, when I was only seven years old, when I spent Christmas time with my grandparents in Arizona. When this was at the time when I was still living in California, and I basically remember that my grand that my parents got me all the three classic um Charlie Charlie Brown holiday classics. Like I like like they got me the Charlie Brown Halloween, the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and the Charlie Brown Christmas, which unfortunately I didn't even I decided not to watch um the the two holiday specials the the um the um Halloween Charbon and the Thanksgiving Charbon until until the next until the following year of two thousand seven because when I got because when I got the box on DVD I just decided to watch Charbon Chris Christmas because I know I know I decided to watch watch the Char the Charbon holidays like every 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 year when it's a, when it all when it almost lands on a holiday, I watch the holiday special of Char Brown. Oh well, guys, I have nothing to say about the special. It's a great Christmas special. My final word for Charlie Brown Christmas, it gets a ten out of ten. I love Charlie Brown. He's a classic. And on top of that, I think the voice actor who played as Charlie Brown, I think Peter Robbins um played as Char Ch as um Charlie Brown. I, I believe I be, I believe so so all oh, guys I had nothing to say about the special I guess a 10 out of 10 it's a great special and my next review will be the polar Express but unfortunately you guys um I I don't have the polar Express on DVD so I have to watch it online I have to watch it on watch cartoons online a what along with um Mickey's Christmas Carol which I will watch that. So yeah, so oh guys, stay tuned for my review on Polar Express, and I am gonna watch the Dr. Seuss's How to Grinch Stole Christmas cartoon, and I'm gonna watch the movie, the Jim Carrey movie right now actually, and I'll hopefully I will get a chance to go see the new Grinch movie in theaters. So I have nothing to say about this, you guys. My name is Rocket Off Three Thousand. I'll see you guys next time.